Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading and auto write for the week beginning March 26th, 2018. We're gonna get right into it here. I just lost my page, sorry. <laughs> here we go. All right, so we start out with uh, peace be with you all. So there was this sort of feeling of let's just blanket you with a little bit of love <laughs> right here, right now. So even if you wanna just place a hand over your heart, breathe in that blessing, take it in. We thank you for your ever want, this is worded so weirdly, so hang with me. We thank you for your ever want to rise higher in consciousness. We are here to cradle you in this process, bless you all. So I think they're saying, you know, we see your effort, we see that you guys are at least trying to understand, and some of that trying is, I know this can sound weird, but it's in not trying <laughs> so hard. It's not in pushing, but realizing where you put your energy, um, realizing when you're trying to force a solution, uh, you know, in a certain situation and then backing off of that. That's all part of it. So they're giving us blessings for our efforts. All right. Uh, some resist and we can only do, wait, what? <laughs> some resist, but we can only, but but can do only but to wait. See, I told you it was worded weirdly. For their awakening, many rebel and are cruel because they can see no other way. Be not in judgment of one another, for you do not know the unique journey each of you walks. Take heart and give space for yourself when needed. Do not judge. Yeah, have you noticed that, I've noticed this a lot recently, people are taking words or situations and twisting them twisting them so that they intentionally have or seem to have this intention of uh, like some kind of bad, you know, say like, like bad intentions behind it when that wasn't even the case. And they're really stretching to twist someone's words or they're really stretching to go, well, this situation happened because of this. So we see this in the spiritual community a lot too, because people will twist things um, so that they seem more powerful, um, so that they themselves seem like they're above others. So be very careful of that. Do not fall into that okay but so we're we're telling people I guess it's kind of like telling those people not to judge I mean they're not going to listen they're going to do it anyway but we don't want to look at somebody and put some sort of negative even more negative energy into that we can just observe it and then stand back from it but do not judge them for it they're on their own journey okay let this be a time of self-care take time to continue your silence what <laughs> Silence your internal reflection. I don't know what this means. Um, I think that means um, they're actually helping me out here. So I think that means just keep on with your internal reflection, your soul work, you know, all that stuff that we talk about all the time. Uh, take this time to continue silence, your internal reflection. Be not seduced into turmoil stories. That's what I was talking about, where people are purposely trying to make trouble, okay? For there are many who have chosen to look away. All right, so they're getting uncomfortable. There's a lot of people who are not liking that people are ascending, and a lot of them are in the spiritual community. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> you gotta watch those people out there who just wanna throw their ego at you, uh, or again, try to project onto you or, or what have you, okay? They're choosing to kinda come in and mess up everybody else's gig, you know what I mean? <laughs> so they are frightened in pain, and that's why they are reacting the way that they are. And I, I'm even getting the feeling now that a lot of reason why people take the route of ego, especially in spirituality, because of their fear and their pain, their fear, they're fearing that they're gonna be left behind. They're fearing that they're gonna be seen as wrong. Okay, so they try to they try to hold everybody else back with them, <laughs> right? Okay, so it says, they know not what they do. We've heard that one before, right? Um, keep forgiveness in your heart. Keep your heart strong. We love you end. So it really is about not getting pulled. Like it said here, I think I want to pull out, don't get hung up on the term oil story. Okay. When somebody tries to pull you in, we got to make this distinction, distinction here because, you know, sometimes people are in pain. And I know there was a time where I was trying to come out of a certain pattern and I just, you know, I kept looping 
on it and I couldn't let it go. I didn't know why I felt the need to talk about it all the time. I just found myself talking about it because I needed to get it out. It wasn't as if I was trying to drag anybody down with me. I wasn't trying to be negative, but people would tell me that I was. So there's, I think there's a distinction here. Like if somebody needs help and they're trying to reach out for help, we want to be cognizant of that and see what you can do without completely draining yourself. That is in stark contrast to somebody who's always trying to make trouble. They're always trying to stir the pot. Um, now we do have whistleblowers out there. I wouldn't put them in that category. Whistleblowers have their own unique kind of duty here. <laughs> okay. They're here to um, bring things to the surface to be examined. Okay. So not the same thing, but just people who um, I'm thinking of just certain people I've come across in my life, they just always want to start a fight. You know, they just always, and they know that the words that they're saying are going to be hurtful and they make sport of it. They love it. <laughs> All right. So that's the energy that we want to start kind of just being aware of this week and working on ourselves, of course. And uh, now I want to see what the cards have to say. So let's get on to that portion of the reading. All right, so I think for the next several weeks, I'm gonna just hang with this nice little combo of cards. They work well, I'm feeling really connected to them. So the Crystal uh, deck by Rochelle Sharman, the Inner Seagal deck, the Secret Language of Color Oracle cards. Uh, and let's just get right into it here as I do, just clearing them out. Let's see what else they have for us. Oh, there's a card coming out. <laughs> Master teacher card, ancient wisdom crystal, ancient wisdom. <laughs> so there we go. Now, a lot of times people just want to run away with this. And um, this is where we get into that contrived spirituality where we're forcing things to happen. That is going to work against us. So ask the universe to send you, you know, whatever kind of thing that you should be studying right now or anything that you need to know right now, and then allow it to flow. All right. And I think that that's a lot of what our master teachings have tried to teach us, <laughs> right? Um, to just go with that flow, to be, just be, right? Not force it, not trying to make yourselves feel better about your spiritual practice. I know that sounds weird, but I, I, I kind of get what they're saying because it's almost like people will go and they'll read up on, let's say, ancient wisdom, okay, of some persuasion. And then they come back and they're a know-it-all, <laughs> right? And like we said before, I think it was even in last week's reading, you know, people can read all they want, but you got to be plugged into what the lesson is. You got to be plugged into what the wisdom is or what's the point, right? So that's what we're saying here. Allow it, yeah, allow it to, allow it to solidify within your being, that's what this is saying, okay? The teachings. And I do feel like there's going to be probably some of those um, ancient lessons, not just the teachings, but the lessons uh, reappearing in this week. So I hope this isn't history repeating itself, but there is that potential there, definitely. All right. So the next card we have is Emerald Compassion. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. So we want to keep our hearts ignited through bringing compassion through that heart chakra. Okay, there, this is in severe deficit in this world, you know, because we have been so taught that, um, you know, you have to get yours, you have to get one up on somebody. I just went through a scenario where somebody had to try to knock me down in order to uh, I guess they thought there was a battle so that they could win and it backfired on them. And I just literally sat back watching the whole thing unfold going, whoa, <laughs> this is the universe at work here. Holy cow. Um, but if you just hold space for people, even if they are going through a hard lesson, maybe they even tried to get one over on you. Like I said, um, you know, you can at least just keep your heart pure and keep the, keep some nice energy flowing here. Compassion helps you stay in touch with your own heart. Okay. And when you're in touch with your own heart, you're in touch with your heart wisdom. And that's interesting because we had wisdom come up too. A lot of green, <laughs> a lot of green in this uh, reading. So green and brown so far grounding. Okay. Detoxifying through nature. Okay. So the next card we have is pyromorphite patience. Don't force an outcome. Don't push ahead. This is another lesson I can share with you and say, do not as I do. <laughs> right? I just recently kept shoving and pushing. I'll do a whole, I was going to vlog today. 
but now I'm hearing the wind outside and like, you know, sometimes the wind hits the microphone. We'll try, I'll try it anyway. And I'll tell the story. But um, if you just have patience, and again, it's all about being in that flow and not trying to force an outcome, not going, this is how from my mental body, this is how I think it should be. Therefore, I'm gonna keep shoving and shoving and shoving. Guys, I get people who come to me all the time for personal readings. Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you about personal readings. If you want a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com, services page. I got the workshop up at Gumroad, Archangel Courses, how to read cards, how to perceive your angels. And of course, uh, if you wanna support me on Patreon, I leave all that information down below. Now back to what we were saying. When we get it in our head that this is how it should be and we push on it, we kind of ruin ourselves. <laughs> or if we get delusional about like, no, I don't have any suppressed emotions. I'm good. Really? Really? You stopped a long time ago. You didn't have to learn anything else. There's nothing else for you to learn. <laughs> like, oh boy. I think the universe is going to come and let you know what's up. Okay. But um, this is saying too, and I was getting ready to say, you know, when I do readings for people, I see this a lot. This is one of the biggest patterns of, I want this specific person. I want this to happen. I want this outcome. I want this job. <sighs> And every single time those readings end up clicking really deep and going, okay, here's why this is the thing that's making you wanna control your life. And once we work through that, it frees everything up and their life starts flowing. If they allow it, it starts flowing. Uh, so I think that's kind of the overall message here is like, you know, don't get hung up on what you think should be. There could be something better coming along. That's a little trite, I suppose, but <laughs> there, there's no other way to get people to understand it though, you know? We have to be patient. We have to be patient. You'll know when you're making things worse. Let me just put it that way. When you're making things worse because they keep getting worse, <laughs> right? And it's like the harder you push on something, the more it kind of flows away from you. That's when you need to stop. And if um, you're in an incredibly stressful situation, for example, I just came out of one of those. And I admit it is hard to stay plugged in when you are stressed out. Um, Again, I'll get into it in another video perhaps, but um, you know, you can always, you always have the chance to stop and um, give yourself some self-care to decompress, to just, you know what I'm saying, meditation, of course, you have to be doing that. So you can have a moment to reset. So when the story starts buzzing and scattering and getting out of control, and you feel yourself getting scattered with the story and you start falling into it, you can take a moment and just go, okay, you know what? Shh. <laughs> Just shh for a minute, let me figure out what I'm doing here, and so on and so forth. And in the flow, I think you will see that um, things start turning out the way that they need to. Because let me say this before I get the next card. Remember, you might be thrown into a situation that you know is teaching you a little something, but you're also helping other people within that situation to learn something too. Okay, so sometimes things are going amiss or they're breaking open because you know. You, you're, you as a soul, you are showing up for someone else. Does that make any sense? Okay. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so <laughs> the final card before we get on to the color card is Amazonite Life Purpose. Life purpose isn't just about how you define yourself, what label you put on you, okay? Life purpose has to do with what I was just saying, sometimes showing up for another soul. It doesn't mean you're there to save them. Um, we're all in this story together. We're all bouncing off of each other's energies and growing through those experiences, okay? So please don't ignore that layer of your life purpose. It's probably, I mean, there. I guess there is no most important layer of your life's purpose, but a lot of times I think people think, oh, well, I have to, you know, I have to have, like I said, a label. I have to have a title and that is what I'm here to do. I'm here to be a writer. I'm here to be a healer. I'm here to be a messenger. That's like, like a teeny, tiny little bit. And yes, I said tiny, okay? <laughs> a little bit of your purpose. The biggest part is just to come in and experience being human, to love and be loved, you know, so on and so forth. So if you're doing that, um, give yourself a little credit, all right? You're already kind of ahead of the game. <laughs> All right, so let's get that color card going here and let's see what else we can have for this week. Ooh, okay, one more shuffle. <laughs> Sorry, the reason I'm holding them down a little bit, my, my microphone's right here, so. 
All right, guys, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have, ooh, hello, cyan. Build your confidence. The number's 35 if you are into numerology. Maybe that means something to you, but um, I, that's actually just uh, the, the reference number for the booklet. Um, but sometimes that means something, you know, have, have an extra layer of meaning for you personally. But anyway, build your confidence. Okay, it's not about I'm going to go study. I'm going to get these degrees. I'm going to be the best. Those people are egotistical, okay? Okay, we're not judging. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson for Michelle as well. Um, but this is, you can build your confidence by remembering who you are, by remembering that these things that are happening, they do not define me. This is not something that I have to feel bad about. You know, again, I'm not going to get into it here. Man, I've got this great story I got to tell you guys. <laughs> it's about the car. Um, one of the most profound spiritual experiences I've ever had was through buying a car. And it's still not, I mean, I have my car back now and I'll show you my new car. But, um, yeah, I mean, just some of the stuff that once it was done started hitting me. I'm like, whoa, holy cow. And here I thought like this, I just have bad luck. <laughs> no, it wasn't, I don't think it was anything of the sort. But anyway, you can build your confidence by remembering who you are and not um, getting sucked into the story. Does that make sense? So, I don't know, let me think of a generic example. So if you're going through a stressful experience and you just want it done, you just want it over with, you might start losing patience um, and it's upsetting. It might even rattle you. Now, some people are like, no, I'm so above it all. I don't ever get stressed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, anyway, <laughs> refer back to the first part of the reading. Thank you very much. Um, but, you know, when you, when you go, okay, you know, I'm okay no matter what. No matter what I'm walking into right now, I can handle it. No matter what comes at me, I'll be okay because I'll learn how to be okay as it unfolds. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.